students today we will have an experiment that is to measure the diameter of a small spherical or cylindrical body using the vernier calipers right so within five minutes we will try to complete this experiment and uh, there are other two uh, experiment using the vernier calipers too we will have come we'll, we'll uh, go through this experiment in in the next videos uh, so the first one is to measure the diameter of a spherical or cylindrical object so diameter you can measure this is a spherical object let's say uh, this is uh, at the uh, uh, bob of a pendulum so we want to measure the diameter using the vernier calipers right or you can take any cylindrical object also same procedure you will follow you will just keep the object in between the two jaws of the uh, vernier and you will just make it tight right so you will measure the diameter in the cylindrical object in detail we will measure the first uh, spherical one uh, the same procedure you can follow the cylindrical if your school have given a cylinder so you can measure the cylindrical one so how, how will you do that this is the jaws of the vernier calipers and it is perpendicular to the scale there are two scales you can see this is the main scale and another one is the vernier scale which is over this one vernier one you can slide it over the main scale by rotating this knob right moving this now this this is a movable one and both the jaws are perpen, uh, perpendicular to the main scale the upper jaws have a different use like to uh, measure the internal diameter of a uh, beaker you can use that and the this one this strip one have also some use like you can measure the depth of a beaker so you can use so for the diameter basically we'll measure we'll use these two jaws and we'll keep it in between these two jaws like this then how will you take the reading once you then make it tight like this press it make it tight once you make it tight just note down the reading you will see the first line the first line uh, suppose this is the first line of the vernier this is the vernier scale and this scale is the main scale the metallic strip this one is the main scale this is the vernier scale so the vernier first line is coinciding with let's say 2.5 so the diameter will be 2.5 is the main scale reading so this is the table let's go to the table of the uh, table of your experiment so this is the table of your experiment so in this uh, here you can see clearly the first one is main scale reading the second one is number of uh, coins number of vernier coincidence then then bsr that will be n into lc n is the number of coincidence this was the diameter which is vernier uh, scale reading bsr plus main scale reading so here main scale reading is 2.5 now what is this n vernier coincidence vernier coincidence is the line which is coinciding with the main scale you will see that there are 10 lines about this vernier one the uh, this one the movable one so you will see that which line will be coinciding now if the line is let's say slightly uh, has passed 2.5 so you have to check that which one is coinciding properly let's say the third line is coinciding with the main scale properly or the eighth line is coinciding properly so you will see that which line is coinciding properly let's say the eighth line is coinciding properly so you will write here eight right and you will multiply with the list count how will you calculate the list count i'll just show you within a minute so multiply 0 0.01 that is the lc so 0 0.01 into 8 will be 0 0.08 plus so this one is your vsr so vsr plus main scale that will be 2.5 plus 0 0.08 2.58 is your reading is the diameter of your uh, uh, spherical object now if it is having some zero error so you have to positive zero error you have to subtract negative zero error you have to add so you will check that what is that zero error so we'll go to list count and zero error so list count and zero error you can see how you will uh, go to the list count and zero error the list count is 1 msd by 1 by n is the number of vernier division now what is msd msd is the this is the MST main scale division. So main scale division here you can see clearly one division is one mm. Here one division is clearly you can see here one division from here to here one division and it is a centimeter scale. So one division is 0 0.1 centimeter or one mm. So 0 0.1 centimeter is one MSD main scale division divided by the number of vernier uh, division that is 10. So 10 is the you will count this if your vernier having 10 some vernier having 20 division also. 
so you can just count how many numbers are there over the vernier you will divide it so 0 0.0 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 10 is giving you 0 0.01 centimeter is the least count then zero error what is zero error zero error is if <coughs> this is your vernier now you will just uh, make this two jaws tight just make it coincide and check that if the zero of this vernier if the zero of the vernier if it is exactly coinciding with the zero then there is no zero error but if this first zero of the vernier if it is behind the main scale zero then it is having negative zero error because your reading starts behind the actual reading so that means you have to add something you have to add something so what you will do for a negative zero error you have to add the you have to add the uh, e now same thing for positive zero error if the vernier starts little bit ahead that means your actual reading is not your actual reading suppose your it's three but it's exactly not three because it starts from extra this extra so this extra amount let's say 0, 0 0.2 lines extra that means 0 0.02 you have to subtract right so for positive zero error you have to subtract this zero error and for negative one you have to add it so how will you find out then zero error again again to find out zero error just cross to uh, just join two jaws properly right make it tight and see that which line is again coinciding suppose like the same procedure suppose fifth line is coinciding or fourth line is coincide coinciding you will multiply 4 into lc that will be let's say 0 0.04 so this is your zero error so if you you will your uh, apparatus is having zero error then the table you will just modify just you will add one column in the last column you will add that is the corrected diameter d so if it is having the positive zero error you will just subtract it then you will get let's say 2.58 now zero error you are getting let's say 0 0.03 you will subtract this is your final diameter now you will repeat this experiment five times you will get different uh, vernier uh, your vernier readings a uh, vernier coincidence uh, then you will get a different set means a uh, di different diameters means little bit different it will not be very much different let's say 2.64 it shouldn't be 4.64 like that right because you are measuring a minutely so little bit difference you should uh, get while you are measuring the diameter repeatedly now what you will do uh, you will repeat this five times then you will find out the average you will go to the calculation part and you will average it out so you will average you will average all the diameters like this d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4 plus d4 uh, d5 divided by 5 all the all the values of diameter you will write divided by 5 this is the result so you will write in the result part that the diameter of the given spherical object is found to be uh, found to be uh, whatever the result you will get you will write now how will you write uh, what are the uh, main um, or what is the structure of your um, experiment how will you write first you will start with the m m that i have already told you to determine the uh, diameter of a given spherical object then materials required then theory then procedure right uh, material required you will write one year calipers first, and the magnifying glass and all these things whatever the re required material you have used that you will write here material required and then you will write the theory then procedure then observation observation i have already shown you the table you will make uh, for the diameter and if the volume is asked then also you can find out 4 by 3 pi r q you can find r from the d that will be d by 2 and you can find out the 4 by 3 pi r q the volume of the uh, sphere also you can find if the question is asked like that and then calculation part observation after observation will do calculation then result then precaution and finally sources of error sources of error if any error will be there like the reading should be properly taken like that you can write the sources uh, the precautions and sources of error you can write that the Errors might be due to the uh, the jaws are not properly tied, uh, it's slipped, all these things you can write for the sources of error. So thank you for watching. Within 10 minutes, we'll try to complete this experiment. And I hope it's clear. If anything, any doubt is there, you can write in the comment box so that we can make another video so that you will able to understand it uh, uh, in more detail. Right? If any confusion is there. Thank you for watching. Thank you.